Hey guys, this is Hey Ryan Let's Play, and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Cloud. So, we really aren't going to be doing much in this video. It's mainly just advancing the plot by building up stores. So, to Queens we go. And so what we do is we already have the king's house set down, and so we throw the car in, and he will end up giving us our new ally, so... We have to go to his place, and this is gonna take, like... This is gonna be, like, a five-minute cutscene, so... There we go. Dude, seems like somebody's at the door. Could it be that boy who restored my gorgeous mansion? Ah, uh, yes, sir. It seems so. Yikes! So he's come. Ah, uh, he'll be coming asking for money, money, and more money. Probably. Uh, that's no good, no good at all. Wait, I got an idea, boss. No! Wait, King bullying a boy? Could you imagine the bad press? No, no. Uh, we don't want bad rumors before the election. Uh, what do we do? Boss? Eh? Huh? Oh! <laughs> that's it! We still have that option! But, that's, uh, quite, uh... I don't want to be involved with that. No worries, it'll be okay. It's a two-for-one deal. Oh, uh, alright. Ah! Uh. So you're the kind lad that completed my house for me, eh? Indeed you are. Ah, yes, Ryan Wright. How can I help you today? Oh, no need to tell me everything. I get the picture. Wait over there. We'll get you what you need. Yes, something special. Ah, uh, his voice keeps changing. But we don't really have to deal with him after this, so... Uh, Ryan was your name? You see, in this world, there are things so valuable that they're invaluable. In other words, there are things money can't buy. And this is one of them. Here you go, in appreciation of your hard work. Please take it. No. Uh, you tell me you don't want it? Why? If you don't have a good reason, you must accept it. You don't want to embarrass King by going without letting me return the favor, then please accept this and be on your way. Wow, what a dick. And I drop it. Huh? Smoke! How can I serve you, King Darling? Uh, nope, nope, wasn't me. I haven't done anything. Oh, I see. It's not you this time? Aw, that's no fun. So, it's you guys this time, and how can I serve you? N no, no, it's not me. I don't know anything. What? No, it couldn't be. You called me for no reason? That's not good. That's not good at all. King, darling. I sense it in the air lately that every time I come out, you seem upset. Or is it just my imagination? Uh, uh, upset me? No, never. Don't be silly. You never uh, upset me, really. Then say my name out loud. Come on, say it. Ruby, the genie. Uh, the great genie Ruby. Yeah, that's the spirit. Well, you know my greatness already. So, why did you go and call upon my greatness and majesty for no reason? Well, uh, he actually called you. <laughs> ah, so you're the one, the boy everyone is talking about, coming around fixing the world. Wow, that's awesome! And th is this Dark Genie that's caused this mess that powerful? Stronger than me? Hmm. Okay, I've made up my mind! I'm in! I'll fight that Dark Genie with you! Just give me a holler when you need me!
Ruby has become an ally. There we go. Another ally. More weapon possibilities for us. So, now that we have uh, the king's place done, what you want to do is you want to build Jack's store. He's the uh, weapons guy, and something special happens if you get Ruby before you build his store. So we'll just throw him right there. We don't really need to put him anywhere at the moment. Who are you? You're from out of town, huh? Oh, so I'll introduce myself. I'm Jack. I own this fine weapon shop you see before you. Have a look around. Don't forget shades in a chimney. They're important features. Yeah, okay, buddy. Shades and chimney. There we go. Now we got an event. If you do this without Ruby... Unlocked, uh, he won't give you anything, so you want to do this with Ruby in your party. Hey Ryan, thanks for you. Thanks to you, now I can reopen my store. Drop by Jack's store for weapons big and small. Oh, just so you know, I don't give gifts or anything like that. Don't get your hopes up. What? Ah, uh, I get it. I was expecting something like this. That voice. Ruby, the boss's wife. What are you doing here? What brings me here? What a thing to say after such a long time. Hmm, you know, it's important to show proper gratitude. If not, well, it's gonna be like that. I might start getting upset. Uh, uh, I understand, Miss Ruby. A a anything you need, it's yours. Why don't you come up with something? You've got a brain, don't you? Use it. Uh, uh yeah, understood, Miss Ruby. Wait here just a sec. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting, Miss. Big Bucks Hammer! This is for you, Miss Ruby. It's a platinum ring. Hmm. Very common, isn't it? Uh, it'll do for what now? That is it for today. Wow. She's got all these people wrapped around her finger. It's probably because of that top. I don't know. Alright, so we got ourselves a Big Bucks Hammer, which has Big Bucks, which whenever it kills an enemy, if it drops money, it drops double that money. So it's a really easy way to start gaining a lot of cash. And Platinum Ring is not a base weapon, so we will end up selling that later. I'm just seeing what it what it needs to be built up. And Ruby uses rings to open doors. Uh, essentially, there will be a crystal in front of a door that will say it. Uh, it's like a red crystal or a green crystal, and then you have to use the attribute of that color in order to get through the door. So, no, I don't want to sell the big bucks hammer. That was that was stupid. All right, so let's see here. Eh, that's all good. I think I I think I need revival and stand in powders, but well, we can sell some of that stuff. Not gonna use that at all. Yeah, it looks like I do sell that. Worthless. There we go. And. Couple Dran's feathers will do good. Oops. That was a mistake. There we go. Bone slingshot. Only need one of those. Buy two of the big box hammers. And two kitchen knives. Let's see. Anything on the kitchen knives? Nope. And nope. And kitchen knives are pretty weak, but they are amazing against uh, water monsters like fish. And Bone Slingshot is pretty weak, but it it builds up into some interesting stuff. Okay, so that's it for that part. Alright, now we gotta head back to Norun. I mean, we got our partner, so we could go into the shipwreck at the moment, but we're not gonna do that for a few minutes. 
because I want to buy weapons. And this is what I always do when I play, so... It's pretty customary of me. If I don't do it, I feel lost. So I go to Hag's place. Up, oh, Adventure Day 8. Dusk. So, 8 Adventure Days. It's about an hour per Adventure Day, I'm guessing, because the playlist is about 8 hours long right now. So, alright, so we need all those gourds. Okay. Store that. Get another gourd in. There we go. And then... Uh, I think I need to detach money from that. Or... Weapon stuff from it. Uh, no. Okay, I didn't have anything, so I can store that. Awesome. There we go. Alright, so, using the gourds, and that's essentially it. Getting everybody to six water total. Five. S six for Ruby. Six for the main character. Six for Xiao. And six for Goro. And now it's uh, health increase time. And I think that I think I only need five. So get everybody to one ten. Main character, then Xiao, then Goro, who was already at a hundred. So and now Ruby, who's at ninety. So yeah, two will get her to one ten. But essentially what I do, uh, that way I don't get lost in my games, is I always buy uh, base weapons and just store them. Even if I'm not going to use them. I just do that so I have them there in case I do want to eventually just pick one up and start building it up. And you would think, oh, two kitchen knives might be, you know, enough. But... I tend to use, or I tend to buy more than two, because according to the weapons chart, there's, if I remember correctly, five different ways to build up a Gladius and six different ways to build up a kitchen knife. So, yeah, that's why I just bought an extra four kitchen knives, because uh, of the many different possibilities of building it up, so... Now, back to Norun to store them. We have done something productive, at least. We got our next ally, which is needed to get th further in the uh, dungeon, so... We will be entering the dungeon after this video. We're probably in this video. Just gonna store the kitchen knives... Oh, wait, I never checked to see if they had durable. That's the wrong menu. There we go. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, they just have quench, which makes you get thirsty slower. So, there we go. Uh, let's do it like that. There we go. Should probably throw the base lard in there, but... Ah, well. Alrighty. Oh yeah, I gotta build you up. So, we're gonna attach you, because that will help with your flying and everything else. We're also gonna throw down a beast, and... Yeah, we'll throw in the extra flying attack power, so... He'll start do That slingshot will start being better. And to the shipwreck! For the last, like, two or three minutes of this video. Alright. Floor 9. Uh-oh. Captain! Somebody's here! <laughs> Any landlubber that trifles with my ship won't leave a line. Hey, all ye hearties. 
Beat him to the shocks. Uh, Cap, uh, he's over here. Ah, I knew that, you fool. That way, feed him to the shocks. Alright, so we're actually going to use uh, Xiao's Bone Slingshot, see how much damage it does. Oh, not much. Well, decent, well, mediocre damage to the Corsia, so. Ah, the cannon shot us. How dare he. Yeah, and pitiful damage to the cannon. So, we are going to use a bomb, because I want a metal breaker. You're dead. Oh, he dropped money. That's not what I wanted. I wanted a metal breaker. Ha, you're dead, Captain. Oh, more money. 17 from that. 17 from that. So, yay, an extra 34 monies. Alright, so there's the hook. And we need a repair powder on that. And we're kind of low on repair powders, but we'll deal. So here we go. There's a crystal with a red beam. Any meaning it has something to do with this door. So you have make sure you have fire as your attribute. Because it's uh, red, blue, yellow, green, and pink. In, so in that order. So fire equipped. Go into first person mo mode with R2 and you'll be able to shoot. So that's going to be it. We'll go further down in the dungeon next time, guys. I uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon. Take care.